everyone and welcome to Season 1, Episode 6 of Pro Wrestling's Top 50. I'm your host, Travis McNeil, and today we continue our countdown of the best matches of 2020 with match number 45 on our countdown, which is the Open the Brave Gate title match between the champion, Kaisuke Okuda, and the challenger, Kaido Ishida, from the Dragon Gate Kobe Pro Wrestling Festival held back on the 15th of November. Over the course of 2020, these men developed uh, quite the rivalry uh, that was based around Ishida trying to recruit Okuda into the RED faction. Uh, they had a match for this title back when Ishida was the champion in the summer. Uh, there was a bit more of a long form match that was solid but unspectacular. Um, prior to this contest, 12 days prior it actually, uh, these two had a match for the title in which uh, Ishida was defeated by Okuda and uh, saw the title change hands. Although uh, that match missed out on our top 50, it is uh, a more than quality encounter. And I don't want to say it's a prerequisite to today's match, uh, but it certainly helps with the enjoyment as they build upon a lot of spots, sequences, and the story established in that encounter. Uh, today's match clocks in at about 10 minutes, making it the shortest overall match on our list. Uh, the encounter from 12 days prior runs less than 10 minutes. So between the two contests, if you can make the time for it, uh, it runs less than what, uh, you know, most, uh, most matches that you would see appear on this list would run. Uh, so it's certainly worth your time. Um, both of these guys are incredibly stiff and tremendous strikers. Okuda is a former kickboxer. Uh, Ishida is known as Kickboy, so he matches him in that department. Uh, they beat the absolute tar out of each other for the 10-minute runtime here. Um, Ishida, during the course of the match, is also just a tremendous prick heel. Um, you know, Okuda takes a lot of inspiration from Katsuyori Shibata. Uh, so there's a great spot where Ishida hangs him in a tree of woe and sits down in front of him cross-legged, much like Shibata would, and just taunts him and smacks him, which I thought was brilliant. Uh, he works over Okuda's knee uh, with, you know, tremendous hatred. Um, and actually, one spot that I really enjoyed here, there is a little bit of a botch where Okuda can't get Ishida up into a transition for a power bomb, but it worked because it, it looked as though his knee gave out, which was the story that they were establishing here. And I appreciate it that they didn't immediately go right back into that spot. Uh, they did try to, to make it come back a little bit organically, which, uh, you know, to, uh, to take myself out of, uh, you know, the suspension of disbelief a little bit, uh, I, I appreciate it as a viewer. Um, again, action-packed. It builds to a fantastic finish um, where Okuda locks in the rear naked choke, which is how he initially won the title. Um, after a long fight, Ishida evades it this time, hits his signature tiger suplex, uh, but it's no sold. Okuda locks the choke right back on and gets the submission victory. Um, I absolutely loved this match, although some of the Dragon Gate matches throughout the year got a little bit more hype. This one was by far my favorite Dragon Gate match of 2020. Uh, both of these guys are young, relatively newer to the Dragon Gate roster. And one thing that you'll see repeated online over and over again is that Dragon Gate is invested in their future. It is giving these young men the spotlight and it is allowing them to run with it, which is tremendous to see. Uh, this match is available both on the Dragon Gate Network, but it's actually also available for free on YouTube. Uh, so there's no excuse for you not to go watch it since it's free. Uh, it's a tremendous encounter, well worth your time. Uh, as always, please follow me on Twitter at Wrestling50. That's the word 50 spelled out, not numerical. I would greatly appreciate if you subscribe to the channel here on YouTube and like the video. And I'd love to hear what you thought about the contest in the comments below. Uh, but that's all the time we have for today. Join us again tomorrow as we continue to count down Pro Wrestling's Top 50.